fun than yesterday. All right, good morning, everybody. As you said, I'm going to be your host, Laura Foy, and welcome to the Microsoft World Cup Demo Competition Finals. Very exciting. Now, this tournament started with over 400 entries from 41 countries all over the world, and we've narrowed that competition down to an only three amazing demo presentations, which we're about to see today. And as you may know, this was the challenge that was presented to them. In 10 minutes or less, present a demo which shows consumers how, which shows how consumers might use Windows and Windows Vista and Windows Live to enjoy and share digital memories, connect with people they care about, and make the most of their ever busy days. So as you can see, the task was pretty vague, which left a lot of room for creativity, something the judges, for, the judges will be looking for today. In addition to creativity, the demos are given points for, for customer relevance, product competency, product integration, and of course, delivery. Also, extra points can be earned for integrating Live Search and Office Live and Windows Mobile 6, but you don't have to. And as we all know, great demos tell a story and have that wow factor that lets us connect with the story. Now, when all is said and done today and all the dust has settled, one team will rise victorious. And that decision, my friends, is up to our esteemed panel of judges. So let's, uh, let's get to know them. First up is Ryan Gavin. Ryan is the senior director in the online services group with a special knowledge and passion around Windows Live. Now, Ryan, since you're familiar with the demos being given today, how important is a fresh delivery to you, or were you going to be more focused on uh, uh, stick to the content? Yeah, I think the impact of identifying with me personally, being able to excite me, enlighten me, but have great transitions and make me want to follow up afterwards and experience the technology is what I'm going to be looking for. And so I've seen these before, but I'm looking for some fresh spark right. to it. Yeah. Absolutely. And hopefully I think we'll get some. Uh, next up is Brad Brooks. Brad is Corporate Vice President of Windows Live and Windows Vista Consumer Marketing. Brad, what are you going to be looking for most today? Yeah, I'm going to be looking for uh, four things. Number one, right. is it going to be authentic? Do I believe it? Uh, number two is, is it going to be creative? Is it going to wow me? Uh, number three is, is it a good story? Is mm -hmm. it something that I can follow along with? And finally, is it going to inspire confidence? Am I going to look at that and say, boy, after I saw that demo, I'd feel like I could do that. Wow, yeah. tough. You're the yeah. Simon Cowell of today. There we go. <laughs> uh, you know, we also searched outside of some of our Microsoft employees to sort of diversify our panel of judges. And we were fortunate enough to recruit some members of Windows Vista families. Uh, let's take a look. Roll the clip. That's awesome. What an, what an awesome program. Is it weird to like see yourself on camera? I know I freak out every time. Anyway, this is uh, Robin Mason. Robin, uh, what advice do you have for the contestants today? Um, I just hope that they have fun. Um, this has been a great, great experience. Um, they've all done an amazing job. I mean, I, I really hope they're enjoying the process. I'm sure they are, and I hope you're enjoying it. Next up, we have Melissa Regan. Melissa, anything different you're looking for today versus yesterday? Well, uh, I like the wow factor that is in the, de in the presentations, but really I'm looking for applications that anybody can use easily. Right, absolutely. And Chris, how would you compare the energy in the room today? I mean, this is the finals, you know, this is the main event. The energy today versus yesterday or other demos you may have seen. Well, I think each no one pressure. of the, uh, the demos brought some energy to it yesterday, and, and, and I think that with these being the three finalists, it's definitely at a much higher level than it was yesterday. So I'm excited to see what they have to do today. Absolutely, and I think we all are. So you know what? Let's get to it. Thank you very much. And up next, our second demo for the day is Christian and Rick from Canada. Take it away, boys. Go! go Dim go, the lights. Go. Today, my name is Rick Claus. I'm an IT Pro Advisor at Microsoft Canada, and I'm here today to talk to you about oh, I, software. Is, it, is there a problem? Yeah, I, I left Outlook open. <laughs> you have Outlook running. We're doing a session right now. I know, I know. I, I left it open. I, I promised my mom I was going to upload some picture from a, Chris, from a uh, party that we just had recently, and I've been on the road so much lately, and I set a reminder to myself, and now I'm overdue. She's very important, and she was expecting those pictures. So you mind if I take just a few minutes and upload those pictures? No, no go ahead. It's important. Yeah, it's it's going to take very short time. I have my camera with me, so I'm just going to plug the camera right here into the system. 
And then I'm going to use Windows Live Photo Gallery. Now, Windows Live Photo Gallery is actually uh, an enhancement over Windows uh, Vista Photo Gallery. It allows you to import a picture the same way, so I can select all my pictures that are on the camera, say import, and just bring them in like this. Now, it also allows me to organize my pictures. Uh, you can see here I have three, so I can select those three pictures, drag them onto the family tag. As soon as I do that, it tags them as family. So mm -hmm. I can go to flowers, for example, see the flowers, okay. and even go back to the family just by clicking on family, just like that. Not bad, but after I'm done organizing pictures, I normally have to fix them up for a while. I see this guy over here is a little bit dark. Yeah, it's actually a little bit dark. Uh, you know what? I can fix that in two clicks. <laughs> yeah, right. It takes me like 20 minutes and like three programs to fix stuff. Just two clicks. Check this out. All I have to do is click on fix, auto adjust, and Boom, it's Ooh, just right. And even better, better, if I hit back, it auto saves the picture. Sweet. So I'm ready to upload that. Oh, okay. So you got to go to the Windows Live website. You don't have to go to your spaces, create a new photo album, add your gallery. No, 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 no. Check this out. If you look here at the top right hand corner, you'll see that you, there's my live ID. Yeah. I'm actually logged in into Windows Live Photo Gallery into the Windows Live Services, mm -hmm. which gives me access to all of the other tools available on there. And that means that I can just hit publish here and go on Windows Live Space, give it a name, so like Family Party. Oops, party. And then just go hit publish, and boom, the pictures are in my space now. Very nice. Just now I'm easy. assuming that you're going to want to take some time and like call your mother or something. Go ahead, no? No, actually, I won't have to do that for today because if I did call her right now, it's been a, I've been on the road so long, she would talk my ears out. So, you know <laughs> what? Let me show you actually what her experience looks like. Sure. This is her desktop. I'm actually logged into it right now. Yeah, oh, so you know your mother's password? Well, yeah, you know, when you're in IT, you're the tech support for your yes, family. That's true, that's um, true. <laughs> so I've signed her up for Windows Live Alert Services. It's a really cool service in the Windows Live family that allows you to be notified when there's a change on somebody else's system, like the Windows Live Space, like a new album being added. So there's Windows Live Messenger. She probably received notification, but we missed it in the transition. But she also gets it through Windows Live Mail. Now, Windows Live Mail is a new client that allows you to connect to multiple mailboxes and also do this all the time offline. So there's the alert from Windows Live, uh, uh, from the Windows Live Alert Services that says there's been a new photo album. So if I click on it, brings it right into the photo albums. And if I click on the photo, there's a picture right there. Not bad, but you know what? Uh, my uh my mom has a little bit of a problem with those left and right buttons and that sort of stuff. Not very intuitive for man yeah. maneuvering. Yeah, that's the reason why I created a mashup for my mom. A mashup. Your mother knows what a mashup is, is going to use a mashup. She doesn't have to know how to do mashups, actually. Mashup is created by just taking some services. Think of it as Lego blocks, right? Yeah. You take these Lego blocks, you assemble them. Well, I use Microsoft Popfly. It's a tool that allows me to take these blocks, assemble them into a, an application. But even better, it allows me to then share that application into my Windows Live space and use an analogy that she could be very familiar with, like an album. And there, whoops. There it is. So, so I can just grab that corner there and flip yeah, sure. around. Yeah, go ahead. Do you mind try if it. I try that? Yeah, in? go ahead. Okay, I can just come over here. I can flip it. Oh yeah, look, there's your pictures. parents. Oh, this is you and Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah. And there's also you and Donald you know, Trump and even Bill you're Gates. You're having too much like fun that. right now. Let's go back to the demo here. <laughs> Let's know, switch back to the PowerPoint. That's true. Yeah. That's true. It's like, oh, oh, hang on a second. I just what? got an email. What? <laughs> your phone's on. What? You complain about me having Outlook open and your phone's on? Yeah, I know, but I've been on the road an awful lot, and, and uh, this is my Windows Mobile 6 device. It allows me to go ahead and have access to all my stuff, so I just, let, me, let me show you here. Just give okay. me a second. Okay. The, uh, you can see over here that I've got the Windows Live client installed for Mobile 6, and with that, it allows me to go in and not only just have access to my corporate contacts, my emails, and all sort of stuff with Exchange, it also allows me to have access to my live mail. So you can see here, there's a letter there from Kelly. She went for a skate on the canal. And uh, as the kids had some hot chocolate, wanted to share this wait, with you. Wait, 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 wait. There, there's an attachment there right there at the top. It looks like a movie file. It's just too bad it's a phone you have in your hand. Well, the good thing is because this is Windows Mobile 6, is I can go ahead and just play that, and it's going to play on my portable media player. And uh, you'll see here that... Uh, wow, that is sweet. That is that's sweet. That's pretty cool, eh? You know, you know what? Can I just take a moment and, like, share this? Well, I guess, I guess you gave me the time, so I should allow you the time to do that. Okay, so, so you know how you do pictures and, and photo albums, something like that, your life space? Well, I'm a blogger, so I want to share this on my blog. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use our free software that we have here called Windows Live Writer and write a quick little blog post. And I'm just going to call this uh, Canal Skate, or Kids on the Canal. And then here's my blog post, and there we go. Okay. It's looking quite nice. It's, it says there, Winterlude. You know, the people in the audience might not know what Winterlude is, yeah. when, especially if you're outside from Canada. You know, that's, that's actually true. So Winterlude is a festival we have up in Canada to celebrate winter. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, Internet Explorer to go and use my live search toolbar. 
and uh, do a quick search to find out about Winterlude and then find out what it comes up with and then hopefully we should see that uh, it's going to find um, yeah there look at that National Capital Commission they're the guys that put it on and I'm just going to copy that link because that's the main page for that and go back into my live writer program and then over here you'll see insert hyperlink it's going to allow me to put some great context around that so anyone that clicks on that will be able to be redirected to the Winterlude page but you know what to make this video really kind of pop I'm going to go ahead and um, Insert a video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Insert a video. We don't have time for that right now. <laughs> it's, this ain't two clicks. It's only three simple steps. Only three. Show me. Okay, so step number one is I got to go and get that attachment. So using my live mail client on my desktop, I'm simply going to go here and save this uh, attachment down to my desktop. Now that's the same inbox that was on my mobile device. Okay. It's connected. Once that's now saved, the second step, number two, is to go over here to my Serverlight streaming uh, option and I'm going to browse and find the video and put it up on my Serverlight streaming service. Serverlight allows me to stream video, whatever format I like, down to uh, different pages. Okay, so far I follow you. There we go, say upload. Now, the neat thing about this is it's going to transcode that and make it all able to work. Then finally, step number three is back over here using the Serverlight streaming plugin. It's a free third-party add-on to this. I'm going to go ahead and insert the video. Hit a refresh and then we should see up here coming up that my uh, Different videos that I use all the time. Right. There's the Kids Canal one. Go ahead and insert that, as well as the other ones, are now inside that one individual spot. Good to go. Wow. But, you know, Kelly's taking the extra simple. time to uh, make this more special. So she went, if you check that email out, have a link there for live search maps. She actually has the path that she took with the kids on the canal. So I'm going to go back, copy that, and drop this guy here as another hyperlink, and then paste it. And then hopefully we'll see something nice and special when I go ahead and hit publish. That's wow. simple. I, I wish I had Windows Live Writer on my corporate laptop, but I don't have it right now. <laughs> have you heard of Word 2007? Yeah, it's, I use it every day. Well, 2007 is actually a blogging tool as well, in case you didn't know. In a pinch, I use it. I just go over here and say new blog post. And it's pre-filled in with my proper account credentials. Hello world. And then down here, just a quick little hi. Publish that and boom. Wow, off, done. that was simple. Not bad, but you know what? Let me show this to you from what it looks like from my dad's perspective. So sure. over here, I've got my dad's laptop. He's already uh, signed uh, in. This uh, the you, you have his password too? IT guy, support <laughs> the family, you know. So <laughs> here it is over here. And when he launches Internet Explorer, he's got my homepage up. And my home page is, happens to be for him, the, my individual space. There's the quick little post I did right there for Hello World. But then down below, look at that. Beautiful post yeah. there. Got the video of the kids and everything else. If I go ahead and just hit play on this guy. Uh, it's too bad it's so small that people in the back probably don't see that. Now watch this. This is a stream. This is uh, not flash. Wow. This is good. Really neat. Very good. Um, now, remember that little... Uh, path that she happened yes. to have taken over here. Live search maps. I wonder if she actually put it in. Yeah, look at this. This is actually the exact path that she took from my house down the street, down the canal. It's winter time. Turned around because it's probably too cold <laughs> and then had a hot chocolate there with the kids. Wow. Not bad. Very eh? nice. We, we, you know what? We really have to go back to the presentation. Yeah, you know? you're right. So let's switch back here. Good day. My name is Rick Claus. I'm an IT Pro Advisor at Microsoft Canada. I'm here to talk to you today about Software Plus Services, but guess what? I don't have to because you decide. And now uh, a couple words from our judges. Chris, you're not allowed to ask you exactly what you wrote down, but you know, what'd you write down? <laughs> well, mainly I just keep notes on what you guys went through, and, and it was terrific that your, your presentation just flows so seamlessly, and it's amazing how much you guys crammed into 10 minutes and still made it all understandable. Nice job. Absolutely. Melissa? Well, and what I liked about it is I thought I could actually do this and look cool, but it's also easy to do also. Totally. Robin? I, I have to agree with Chris and Melissa. I'm amazed at how many different programs you highlighted, but you made it so logical. You made it flow. It was a great scenario to do that. So thank you. Brad? Yeah, you guys, uh, great storyline. You get, also get great extra credit for showing that crossover between work and life, you know, how the play comes into every time in your life. And you also had a particular emphasis on the broader message of Windows being compatible with your whole life by bringing all those different pieces together at once. It was good. It was Plus good. on the hat, Brad? Uh, you know, the hat, the music sounds familiar. I couldn't quite place it, but I hear it a lot during the Winter Olympics. And Ryan? 
Yeah, great job again, guys. It was a bummer your opening video didn't project, but the part of the sign of a good demo is that you keep rolling with it, keep the smile, and keep going on. You guys did a fantastic job. And I think to echo something uh, that was said, you're taking a lot of technology and making it very approachable by describing it well, making it simple, and making it meaningful for people. And across Silverlight to Popfly, all to, to the Windows Live services, that's the mark of a great demo. So good job. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You want to... Come with me to the pit. Thanks. Did you link the computer back? No, they took there it. There you go. All right, guys, good job, good job. You got some words of wisdom back from the judges. How did you feel the demo went? A little bit, a little bit less easy than yesterday, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what sort of obstacles? Well, we, video from the start. Video from the start, we had uh, some technical difficulties, so we didn't have enough comfort time to get everything just positioned correctly. Yeah. So we didn't quite duplicate it exactly the way we thought we would. I well, guess you, we were at the mercy of the internet yeah. all the time, and oh, the internet speed today was not as <laughs> seamless as yesterday. We should say. Well, you guys did a great job. I mean, I didn't notice at all that you were stumbling or that there were technical errors. And as you said, I think that is a, the mark of a good, a good demo. So kudos to you. Thank, Thank you. you. You've done well. Now let's talk about something else. Let's talk about your children. <laughs> okay. Because you guys, these guys, it's, it's actually a fairly fascinating story. Tell, tell them the similarities that exist between you two. You, you can start. Well, I, I actually have a 17-year-old son and twin daughters that are 15. Uh, my son just turned 17 this week. Me too. And uh, the funny thing is that when Rick started, we started talking about our family and because yeah. he actually, when you start at Microsoft, you get assigned a, a, a mentor, a mentor slash Are you buddy, his right? Yes, so he right. was. Okay. And uh, the funny part was that I also have a son, and I also have twin girls as well. Right. And the even more funny part is that I started there about a year old for the twins. When he started, they're about a year old for the twins as well. So they're exactly eleven years apart. Yeah. And uh, wow, I'm I'm in in the future. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have more hair. That? That's <laughs> was it come back or something? Yeah. <laughs> And now, is it, one of them was born on, uh, on April Fool's Day, is that Yeah, right? that's my son, yeah. He yeah. was born this, on April Fool's, and actually exactly 50 years to, uh, to my mom. Wow. So, again, we're always on the road. I was on the road this week while it was his birthday, so. Oh. And my, my son's actually born on Christmas Day. And your last name is? Claus. See? These guys are very interesting. His name is Mac. It's not... Uh, it's, Santa? It's not Santa. So. Nick? No. No. <laughs> Kept away from all those. Now, obviously, you guys are you know, big fans, love Canada. What was with the decision to play the national anthem at the beginning? The point was, in our career and, and in our work, we are a very small team, seven people covering a lot of ground. Actually, we talked yes. to our colleague from France, and you know, it was, we, we were doing analogies, and France fit, uh, fits basically five times in just Quebec, which is one of the province in Canada. So you can imagine the size. And so how much staff you have? And they said, well, we have the exact same staffing that you have. And, that's the point. We were trying to, to illustrate the fact that Canada being so broad and having so little, so few people covering it, it's really, Covered really tough. getting the word out there? Well, yeah, exactly. The so we're yeah. not in a large city. We have very small cities compared to the U.S., so we yeah. have to travel a lot across those cities. So this is really a, the road, road, road warrior lives for us. And so are you, how often are you out on the road traveling? Do you want the official answer or the one my wife has? <laughs> <laughs> the official answer is 25 or 30% of the job. And the wife's? All Hopefully the time. it's too often <laughs> well, and not, my, not enough. My, my wife follows where I am based on my Twitter feed and my blog entry sometimes. Right. And perhaps your GPS mobile right there. Yeah, right over there, buddy. <laughs> Uber mama. You got it. And the hat, traditional Canadian fare? It's actually a Canadian hat. It's uh, called a Tilly Endurable. And uh, it's ha I've had some kind of a Tilly hat now for uh, since high school, I think. Okay, well, thank you guys. You did a great job. Thank Best you. of luck. We'll Thanks. be announcing the winners uh, right after Priscilla. Great.